Okay. Now we're going to talk a little bit about rounding, and <clears throat> we may round things numbers differently in this uh, class than we do than what you've seen before, and it's a function of, of not typically if a number ends in a five, we would we, would, we call round up, but that that ends up meaning that we uh, round up five times and down four times on average, and it, it ends up with some rounding error if you do it uh, a lot of times. And, and so we end up doing things differently if the number ends in a five in this class. So let's go over the, the rules of rounding. So there are three main rules. One is if the number dropped is less than five, then there's no change to the preceding number. The second one is if the number dropped is greater than five, then we add one to the preceding number. And where things are a little different in this class is if the number dropped is a five. And so what we do if the number dropped is a five is we end up always making the preceding number even. So if it is already even, then there is no change. And if it's odd, then we add one to, to round up to the next even number. So let's let's kind of dig into this and and kind of uh, look into it a little more deeply at, at what we mean by these these rules. And so if the assignment is to round these numbers that I've written here to uh, three significant figures, what we're going to do is I've shown the number we're going to round to in blue. So we're going to round to this third digit. So our fourth digit then becomes our decision point. Those are shown in, in purple. So when we're rounding, what we're really doing is making our decision based on that decision point number, which is one beyond the number we're rounding to. So if we're rounding to three digits, then we go over one, two, three. Our fourth digit is our decision point. And we're looking at this decision point number and saying, is it less than five? Is it greater than five? Or is it equal to five? In this case, three is less than five. So we, we have no change, and so we would round this two does not change. It rounds, it stays a two, and we end up with 2.22. If we look at this next number and we say we want to round this to three, then we're going to count out one, two, three, four, and that fourth digit is our, our decision point number, and we're going to ask ourselves, is this number less than five, greater than five, or equal to five? In this case, it's greater than five. So since it's greater than five, we add a number to the preceding number. So this would then round to 2.23. And really when we're rounding, we're, what we're saying is what number is this closest to, right? So this would either round to 2.23 or 2.22. And we're saying that this is actually closer to 2.22 than it is to 2.23. Here we can see that this number is closer to 2.23 than 2.24. So that's what we mean by rounding. We're, we're taking it to that significant figure and saying which of the two options is the closest to. Now we get to one where our decision is a little different. We say we want to round this to three significant figures. We count out one, two, three, four, the fourth digit of our decision number. We ask ourselves, is this less than five, greater than five, or equal to five? So it's equal to five. So our rule is if this number is equal to five, there's no change to the digit before it. So we say that we would round this to 2.22. So that may be a little different than how you learned it before, but we're gonna always end with an even number if the decision point number is a five. If we look at this final number here, 2.235, and we wanna round that to three digits, we'll count out one, two, three, four. The purple number is our decision number again. And we ask ourselves, is this number less than five, greater than five, or equal to five? In this case, it's equal to five. And so now we say, is this preceding number even or odd? So three is an odd number, right? One, three, five, seven, nine are our odd numbers. Uh, zero also. Uh, so, not zero, uh, one, one, sorry. One, three, five, seven, nine are our odd numbers, right? And so, this is an odd number, so we're going to add one. So we would round this to 2.24. So half the time we'll be rounding, we'll be adding a number, and half the time it'll remain unchanged, and so that will balance things out 
in uh, four instances, we will leave it the same. Four instances, we round or we add one. And in the fifth instant, half the time, we will add one and a half, we'll leave it the same. 